Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting, I would say like a relaxing challenge, we have x plus y equal to 6 and we have a product x times y equal to 36 and we need to find our x and y. So how can I do this? Take a look closely right here. First of all, let's rewrite our first line from here. So what do we have right here? We have x plus y equal to 6. We have x plus y equal to 6. And a second line from here, we don't need this line right now. From here, we want to express y. So y from here equal to 6 minus x. So y equal to 6 minus x. And we really need this expression, okay? So we really need this expression that y equal to 6 minus x. Right now, let's plug in this y instead of this y right here. So we can easily do this. We express from this one and we're going to plug in this to this second equation. So let's do this right now. So what do we have right here? We have x times not y by 6 minus x, this is the same as y, so we have 6 minus x inside parentheses, and equal to equal to 36. Okay, really great. Right now, let's multiply x times this parentheses, we can easily do this. So from here we have 6x, 6x, minus we have x square equal to 36. And right now, let's bring all of the all of the things right here from right to left, because it looks like a quadratic equation. We have x squared, we have x, we have a constant. So right now, let's create this uh, quadratic equation. So what do we have from here? We have from here minus x squared, so we change in order, minus x squared. We have plus 6x and minus 36 equal to 0. And right now, the final step to create this quadratic equation, we need to multiply both sides by minus 1. Because we have a minus right here, we prefer with the plus sign, so we don't need this minus sign, so we multiply both sides by minus 1. And as a result, we have our quadratic equation x squared minus 6x and plus 36. Really great. And, and, and right now I'm going to show you two great approaches. So the first one, how can you solve this quadratic equation? So uh, we, we need to solve this quadratic equation. I want to show you the first approach. How can you do this? And the second approach. The first one, or this one, is the more understandable for most of people. So right now let's start, for example, from this left approach. So first of all, let's find this discriminant. We can also write our coefficient. So a equal to 1, b equal to minus 6 and c equal to 36. So the first one is more understandable, so according to a discriminant, okay? So we have right here our discriminant, which is equal to, we have b square minus 4ac. Really great. So this is equal to b square, we have minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 and times 36. Really great, so this is equal to, we have right here 36, 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36 equal to 144. Yeah, it looks like that. And if this is equal to 36 minus 144 equal to minus 108. So right here we have two complex roots because discriminant is negative. So let's find these roots. First of all, let's write the, our, our basic formula. x equal to, we have right here minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over, all over to a. This is equal to, let's go with x first and x second right here. So we have minus b plus minus square root of d. We have minus b, we have b minus 6. So b equal to 6 plus minus square root of 108 my, with the minus sign, yeah? And all over to a, all over, all over to. Right now, let's simplify a little bit our uh, square root of minus 108. Uh, for this, let's divide this 108 by, by 2 at first. We have what? We have 54. We have divided this by 2 once more, we have 27, we have divided this 27 by 3, we have right here 9, yeah, we can divide this by 3, we have right here 3, we have right here 3, we divide this by 3, and as a result we have, we have 1. So as you can see, we can express this 108 as 2 square times 3 square and times 3 and times 1, so let's do this. It helps us a lot to simplify this thing. So we have right here equal to 6 plus minus square root of we have right here, first of all, let's write this minus 1, yeah, because this is our negative sign, we need this. Next, what can we write from this 108? We can write 2 square, because we have 2 times 2, times 2 square, times 3 square, so right here 2 square, right here 3 square, and we still have 1, 1, 3, so we have right here times 3 square, and times 1, 3 we have right here, yeah, and we divide all of the thing by, by 2, equal to. What do we have right here? Uh, so let's uh, let's separate this part. Okay, we have right here 6 
plus minus. We have it here two times three because we apply this square root from this from this one, so we cancel these two. So we have two times three, we have six times square root of three because we still have this one three right here and times i because this is our complex unit. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have six plus minus six square root of three and times i and all over all of the thing we divide by by two. Right now, let's divide our these both values by two because this is our common denominator so we can divide it by parts this one by two and this one by two and as a result we have three plus minus three plus minus three square root of three and times i this is our two our two x first and x second so these are the two solutions so in this case we will have two Mm, two complex pairs of solution x first and x second and y first and y second but before finding this y first and y second i'm going to show you two the second real quick method so i told you before that i'm going to show you in two different uh, in two in two solutions x fir uh, first solution more understandable for most of people and the second solution really great for me i also like this method so we have this quadratic equation so this is our the second method right here and this is our first method more understandable for most of people but let's look at this second method so we have quadratic equation x square minus 6x and plus 36 equal to 0 from here let's write this 36 as 9 plus 27 let's do this so we have right here x square minus 6x plus 9 and plus 27 equal to equal to 0 okay really great and right now Let's create right here a formula. This is our formula. This is our classic school case. X minus 3. We squared it. X minus 3 to the second power. Okay. And right now this is equal to minus 27. We bring this 27 to right side. Minus 27. Right now let's apply square root on both sides. So as a result we have square root of X minus 3. We have right here square equal to minus 27 we have right here uh, we apply in square root really great we cancel this square root and these two right here and as a result we have x minus 3 equal to plus minus of course we're, we need to write right here plus minus so plus minus square root of minus 27 really great and right now let's bring this 3 from our left side to right side and as a result we have x equal to 3 plus minus square root of minus 27 but square root of minus 27 can be written as uh, x equal to we have right here 3 plus minus we can write this square root of minus 27 as square root of minus 1 okay minus 1 times 9 and times 3 as a result square root of 9 equal to 3 so basically we have x equal to 3 plus minus 3 square root of 3 times i 3 square root of 3 times i as you can see absolutely the same thing absolutely the same x so both both um, both approaches have take place right here so first one more understandable for most of students and this one a faster one i like this uh, uh, approach more because we, we solve this challenge faster in this part okay so this is like a faster method this is like a basic uh, basic one according to a discriminant Right now, in the final step, let's solve our mm, system of equation. In the beginning, what do we have right here? We have x plus y equal to 6. So let's write our challenge from the beginning. x plus y equal to 6 and xy equal to 36. In the beginning, we had a substitution that our, that our y equal to 6 minus x. And right now, we have two, two cases. The first one, so let's write it here, our first case x first equal to 3 plus this expression so let's split it so right here we have second case let's split this split this part so the first case x first equal to 3 plus 3 square root of 3i and x second x second equal to 3 minus 3 square root of 3 times i right now let's plug in this expression right here so we know x we know this x we can easily plug in this x right here into this spot so let's do this so from here x first equal to this expression so y first y first equal to 6 minus this expression 3 plus 3 square root of 3 times i let's do this so we have right here y first equal to 6 minus 3 and minus 3 square root of 3 times i as a result right here we have we have 3 so y, y first equal to 3 minus 3 square root of 3 times i really great and right now the, the second case on the right side so what x second equal to this expression so from here y second 
equal to 6 minus this expression, 3 minus 3 square root of 3 times i, and from here y second equal to 6 minus 3 and plus 3 square root of 3 times i, this is equal to 3, so from here we have y second equal to 3 plus 3 square root of 3 times i. Really great, so we have y first, x first, y first, the first pair and the second pair, x second and y second, so let's write our final answer to this to this question. So from here let's write our final answer. Let's split this part right here because we need only our final answer. Final answer. So if we're talking about the pairs x and y, we have two cases. The first one we have x first equal to 3 plus, we can write here 3 plus 3 square root of 3i, and the second one we have 3 minus 3, 3 square root of 3 times i. This is our first pair of solution and the second one 3 minus square root of 3, 3 minus 3 square root of 3 times i and we have right here 3 plus 3 square root of 3 times i. This is our solution to this challenge, maybe a, a little bit long, but I wanted everyone to understand this this part. Maybe you can solve this challenge like that. It's a little bit faster if you solve this challenge like that. It's a little bit longer because we solve it. You solve it according to a discriminant, according to this uh, all coefficient. You need to express this 108. So a little bit longer this expression, a, a little bit longer this part, and a little bit faster this part. So it's up to you. What do you prefer, this part of solution or this part? And this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you understand it. I hope you learned something new. You can also write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Write your question down into the comment section. What do you think about this challenge? Maybe you have the third solution. It will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.